having announced his retirement come the end of the year a few days ago, Dominic Klein was perhaps playing with one last point to prove. An incredible display and a total of six goals made him Nantes' top scorer. We will certainly miss having him around next season. Eight goals in the match of the week against Barcelona to help secure the first leg in the last 16 were enough to make Jonas Trujanovicius the player of the match and of course thrust him into our best seven with goals like these. Jim Gottfriedsen picked up silver at the Euros with Sweden as well as being nominated the MVP of the tournament. On his first return to his homeland after those successes, he was quick to show us why with five goals and the win against Christian Stapp. Marco Vujin is finding his form just in time for the most important part of the season. His eight goals helped the Zebras start the two legs with a win on home soil and in front of a vibrant home crowd. What a performance by Skjern and René Toft Rasmussen certainly played his part on the right wing, happy to take on any angle and the Danes six goals with a difference on the day during a surprise win against Vesprem. He's the prime example of sheer will and determination. 36-year-old Bjarte Mirhol is a role model at the heart of the Skjern team and lives and breeds handball. His performance was one of many incredible displays on the day. The Sparkassen Arena was certainly jumping and Niklas Landin almost caused it to lift off. His important saves, especially in the second half against Zeged, were the driving force behind a massive first-leg victory for Kiel.